Well, Mark Robinson rare defeat these days for yeah. FC Wimbledon against Plymouth on Saturday, but coming in here today, you wouldn't think that was the case. Talk us through what's been going on. Yeah, um, to be honest, Chris, it's, it's how we always are. You know, um, there's, there's no need to get over upset about it because you know the matter of the performance and and. Yeah, the, the fans can see that the players are putting in maximum effort. You know, football's a game of small margins, and when I watched it back, it's exactly as I, I saw it. I thought first half, if if we go two 0 up, which we probably should have done, it's probably as good as we've been, if not the best we've been. I thought some of the football was outstanding, um, but we didn't score. You know, I mean, obviously you have to look at that. Is there things we could have done better in the final third? And there's always things you can do better. But generally, excuse me, I thought our levels of Play were exceptional. Second half, obviously, then getting the goal makes it difficult um, because the fe their defensive record is fantastic. And you know, yeah, we found them, found it a little bit harder to break them down, and we didn't quite have the the finishes to put on that we would have liked. You know, to, to possibly give us other options. So, but there, there's still loads to be pleased about, as I said. And. Um, so the level of performances were, were, were good in general. So, you know, we just look at how we can be better, but it's certainly nothing to be too down about. We've obviously talked a fair <laughs> bit about how young this squad is. Does that really help when you go to a place like the Amnet Stadium and perhaps there'd be no fear? It does if they've got the right mentality, you know, and um, I believe they have. So, you know, I don't always think it's really an age thing. It's just about how you approach games and. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm confident they'll approach the game with, with the right attitude and I want them to go there with no fear. It's so important they go there with no fear because, you know, at the end of the, the night, whatever the result, we, we want to see sort of how far we've come. In terms of looking ahead to Wednesday, there could be 9,000 Tom's fans there. Obviously, we've had games like Liverpool, Tottenham away. West Ham at home, they're the standout cup moments in recent years. How important is we put on the right kind of performance for the Dons fans? Yeah, massively important and I think if it you know, you look particularly at the West Ham game when you know, we we really, really took the game to them and it was exciting. And you know, the as I said, the fans are tra travelling in great numbers, so it's really, really important that that we give them something to be excited about. So, you know, we, we have to go and try and implement our our, our mark on them and, and, and what we do on them, obviously that's not going to be easy. So, you know, when we haven't got the ball, we've got to be disciplined as well as aggressive. And then when we get the opportunity, we've got to make sure that we've got the belief to keep it as well as as well as hurting them. So, um, that's the plan. I know you're keen to be building for the future, that you want more of these kinds of nights all the time for a club like Wimbledon. Is this a game where, in a way, you can put a marker down to players you want to keep and players you want to attract to the club? Yeah, and I think that's why it's so important, why we try and go and be the best version of ourselves. If we go and sit behind the ball and, you know, that's not what we do week in, week out. So I, I see there's no point in doing that. We go and sit behind the ball, you know, it, it might be a close game, we might nick a win. But in terms of where we want to go in the future and what sort of impression that gives to where we want to go as a club, I'm not sure that's the right way to go about it. So I think we have to go and, and, and be as true to ourselves as we possibly can. And if that brings the win, fantastic. If it doesn't, at least we can look and we know what we've got to work on. And you've talked about that connection with the fans <coughs> and the recent away game at Morecambe. Tell us a bit more about that. We've read some nice stories from fans. Yeah, it was just on, on the way back. You know, we're very fortunate that we, we get to go on first class and um, there was a few other first class passengers who, and um, but obviously we had, we had you know, 10, 20, 30 fans on, on the train so I just thought it was really important that, that we invited them in to see if they wanted to get some autographs and, and some of them wanted to and the players were, were more than obliging to do it so you know it's just so important to build that, that attachment you know big grand gestures are very easy it's the small details that builds the attachment between the players and fans, so um, they welcomed it and it was good. And a nice touch from Arsenal, uh, their programme for this game, Thierry Henry on the front of it with the old Wimbledon badge. Does yeah. that does that really evoke some memories and you know yeah. we've got them there? And I'm sure I'm sure it evokes loads of memories for, for you know Wimbledon fans and you know it shows where we used to be and it shows exactly where we want to be in the future. So um, yeah, no, it's great. And a club with Wimbledon's history and heritage. 
He's just, you know, we should be having more of these nights, shouldn't we? That's the plan, Chris. That's what you want. And um, and as I said, I can only see that coming if we continue to build our identity, continue to get the, the fans to buy into what we're doing and, and build that attachment. But as I said, as we have to keep doing that on the pitch. And that was what was so pleasing on Saturday. Yeah. Um, despite not being a win on the pitch, you know, you, you didn't feel like that. I've come out the ground and the fans were so great to me. I know because I've, they can see that the players are giving it absolutely everything and they seem genuinely excited. I spoke to Woody after the game at the man of the match and he rang me up and he said he, he couldn't believe it. He said, Rob, I can't believe how they were. It was like we'd won. So, and, and that only happens because obviously the fans are seeing you know, the effort the players are putting. I think they're seeing the, trying to, the football we're trying to play, that we want it to be exciting. So um, obviously, you know, you can't lose too many, but I'm just a big believer that, you know, you build that attachment and you, you'll get a certain amount of empathy if they see that you're giving it absolutely everything. And yourself personally, have you had many messages from people you used to go to football games with when you were kids about, you know, you'd be leading outside at the Eminent Stadium? Yeah, yeah, no, my mates just abuse me, so I don't get any kind messages from them, but no, other, other people have, have, have been messaging me saying, you know, make sure you enjoy it, etc. And, and it's important, I, I've got to enjoy it as well, but, you know, as well as be professional, make sure we're set up and we're all doing our jobs properly as staff, it's really important we enjoy it as well. What about picking a team for Wednesday? Is that going to be really difficult? Yeah, it's, you know, we've got some tough decisions to make because obviously in this competition we've rotated quite a bit and, and players have got us to where we are and obviously, you know, there's a, and then there's been a bit of rotation in the league and our performances have been really high in the league. So, um, you know, I just we've got a really busy schedule coming up, as you know. Um, we've got two away games on the spin after Wednesday, travelling up to Shrewsbury and then um, out, out, out to Rotherham. And it's a busy schedule for, for four or five weeks, so you know we'll be picking a side that we believe can go and get a great result. But at the same time, you know you have to look at what we've got coming up as well. Players, you said you would <coughs> like to have been involved on Saturday: Jack Lujoni, Ollie Palmer. What are their situations as of Wednesday? Ollie's trained today, so I've just got to go and check on Ollie now to see how he feels after training. Rudy, as far as I know, is I, I know he's trained. Um, and as far as I know, he, he's come through it with no problems at all. So uh, no, that's exciting. It's just a shame we haven't got PK and Paul Sue because they're both players that did brilliant in the previous two rounds. So uh, it's a shame for them. But um, Paul Paul Sue's not too far away now. Thanks for joining us. Well, good luck on Wednesday. Cheers, Chris. Thank you.